Hello friends, Marcy here. So I have recently shared um, the Jin Hao 82 uh, on my channel as a comparison to my Sailor Pro Gear Slim. And I on, on the same day um, I ordered and on the same day I received uh, the Jin Hao 82 and the Jin Hao 80, which was a comparison to my Lamy, uh, Lamy 2000. So, um, it took me a while to get all my videos, uh, well, most of my videos, uh, in order. Um, I'm still not finished yet because I do want to come back to this one. Um, when I ordered the Jin Hao 80, um, it came two pens, but they are the same nib. So duplicates, they only had, the only difference is they had a different color, uh, clip this one silver the other one was black and then the silver dot on the bottom had the other one black Those the only differences were um, exterior not in anything in the nib so my video when I shared this one was not complete because my original video I only compared the Jin Hao 82 to the Sailor Pro Gear Slim in size weight uh, color and uh, writing, let's see. So this was my writing uh, sample, the Sailor Pro Gear Slim, which was a medium fine 14 karat nib, and the Jin Hao 82 Ivory Fine Nib, which was not a nib size comparison, but that's all I had. So today I wanna go back to this um, set of pens because when I shared them with you, I only shared the fine in comparison with the Sailor Pro Gear Slim. Now I would like to show you the difference. Um, if you're interested in ordering the set, of course it comes with fine and extra fine. Um, that's You don't have a choice on that. So let me put the Sailor Pro Gear Slim aside, out of the way, and we're going to do a writing test with this um, Jin Hao 82 fine nib, which we've already seen, and the Jin Hao 82 um, extra fine nib today. So I'm going to rinse this out, um, get my paper, and we'll be back. Okay, so I have a quick nib rinse, and of course, um, a great uh, cost benefit to these is they do come with a converter, which converters can cost um, as much or more than this pen. And that is a push on converter, not not threaded or screw on. So a quick rinse here. Oh, okay. I'm so glad to rinse this. As you can see, um, this is a brand new pen and I have blue coming from the nib, but that's only because um, they cared enough to test the nib for you before they send it out. So I'm flushing it until my water runs clear. And good job. All right. That was my teacher voice, by the way. <laughs> As I'm listening to myself, good job. Like, oh, okay, I hear me saying that to my students. All right, I'm so glad that we did that. Um, I'm going to put my converter back on. As you can see, it's clean. It's never been used. Um, they only dipped the nib uh, factory to test it. So that's what we're going to do here. Oh, by the way, this converter does have the Jin Hao name on it. Um, that's what we're going to do here quickly is just um, dip the nib in ink and do a test, which I'm not the factory, but hey, I'm the consumer, so let's test it. Um, in my previous test, um, I did do the fine nib, test the fine nib on a dip with uh, the Parker Quink ink, which is also what we used in the Sailor Pro Gear Slim. I like to use consistency as much as possible um, in my videos and testing. So 
This is, of course, the star Parker Quink. Getting it down. And as I mentioned in my last video, um, I don't know if you can see this, the ink residue on the side of the jar or bottle is kind of um, lilac purple gray. So I like that. Um, I'll have to look in my ink swatch book and see if I have a chromatography strip to show some of those underlying tones. So let's see, we have a Jin Hao. Oops. In my last video, I spelled Jin Hao wrong. <laughs> I know how to spell it. I spell it all the time. Look, A. Oh, it's correct. But for some reason, in my last video, I put the OA. Silly, silly. Probably because I was talking like I'm doing now. So, Jin Hao 82. And this is the ivory color. By the way, this pen had on online like 30 different colors that you could get. And they were all sets. Um, but if you order the set, both pans were the same color. So if you order the blue, you got two blues. If you order the red, you got two reds. Um, anyway, very inexpensive. Of course, um, the Jin Hao 80 was $14.50 for a set of two. These Jin Hao 82 was $14.95 for a set of two when I per at the time I purchased. So, and I'm noticing this is... Um, kind of wet here. My EF Extra Fine Nib writing sample is very similar to the fine of the same pen. Hmm, interesting. I guess if I uh, could just um, force it, I could say yes, that is extra fine. There is a difference. And maybe we'll see some difference here. Okay, it is able, even though it's just a dip, it's not a converter fill, it is able to keep up with the ink flow here, but there is a difference, there is a line width difference, and even shade difference. At the top of this loop, it's more of a gray, uh, finer line. At the bottom, the line is a little more um, wide and darker uh, black. So, horizontal lines, downstroke, Upstroke, okay, the upstroke is very fine, not as wet as the downstroke. Actually, that's still shiny. And um, the same, actually, a little, it seems like it's a little more wet here than my writing sample here on the fine nib. So if I were to purchase these and hope for um, two different nib sizes, I would be disappointed because I'm not finding a huge difference in these two nib sizes, fine and extra fine. Um, they write very similar to me, but this is just a writing test. This is not a, a writing experience where I've inked um, or written pages and pages with this ink to actually test the flow and performance. So after that process is complete, I'll have to come back with you and share more. Um, I have two-tone nib steel. I don't know why I wrote that. I guess in this, yes, in this light. So in the inner uh, portion of the nib, the triangle, it's like silver and the outer line, outline portion is gold. So that is pretty. Not really too evident in my current lighting. Um, so you had to look for it after reading my notes. Anyway, um, I do enjoy this pen. Um, for the cost, uh, what, $7.50 a pen? It is, um, so far, proven itself to be a great writer um, on my ink test page. <laughs> um, and it's excellent, uh, excellent, not comparable quality of the Sailor because when you pick up the pen, you can automatically feel um, the difference in the body resin material and and the weight let's see let me do a quick weight because i'm not sure how much i covered that in my previous video so real quick let's do weight uh capped and 
And this is the Sailor Pro Gear Slim. Seventeen point two grams, and the Jinhao eighty two nineteen point thirty eight. This pen currently does not have a converter in it. Well, this pen does. So, hey, you know what? Let me remove the converter and see if that makes a difference. On the weight. So here we go. 17 and a half grams. 17.2 grams. So somewhere there is a difference in weight in material. I'm not sure where that is. Um, if I was to delve further, I would weigh independently just the pen, 9.6, just the pen, 9.2. So there is a, a weight difference here. And let's check on the cap. The Sailor Pro Gear Slim at 7.57, almost 7.6, and 8.2. So I guess the extra weight can be um, attributed to whatever materials are used in the cap. Probably the metals in this clip are heavier than the metals in this clip. Anyway. So it's interesting just to play around with something that is similar and, you know, experiment, experience. And I really appreciate you for spending some of your precious moments with me today as we investigate um, the likes and differences of the Jinhao 82 with the Sailor Pro Gear Slim. I appreciate you and the minutes you choose to spend with me. You have a blessed day. Bye-bye.